For several years now, particle physics has been in crisis. Scientists had been hoping that a major upgrade to the Large Hadron Collider in 2016 would lead to the discovery of a slew of new elementary particles. But those particles haven't shown up. So now we're faced with a big puzzle. The Large Hadron Collider, a $10 billion proton smasher, has already served its main purpose. In 2012, it found the Higgs boson, the last missing piece in the so-called standard model, the theory that underpins our understanding of the subatomic world. Physicists think that immediately after the Big Bang, the event in which our universe was formed, something called the Higgs field, which permeates all space, was injected with energy. That led to the formation of Higgs bosons, which have mass because of the field's energy. All the familiar particles that make up matter today, like electrons, and the quarks inside protons and neutrons, all get their mass from interacting with Higgs bosons. But here's the problem. When Higgs bosons give other particles their mass, theory says they give the same amount back to the Higgs, so from all those contributions from other particles, the Higgs boson ought to be a real heavyweight. But it isn't. It's many billions of times lighter than the math suggests it should be. Physicists came up with what looked like a promising solution. It's called supersymmetry, and it would replace the existing standard model with a more comprehensive scheme in which every known particle in nature would have a supersymmetric partner. Every fermion, such as the electron, would have a supersymmetric boson partner. And every boson, such as the photon, would have a supersymmetric fermion partner. And here's the nice thing, because fermions and bosons contribute positive and negative terms to the Higgs mass, their contributions would cancel. That's fine. But until now, despite several upgrades to the Large Hadron Collider, increasing the energy and number of its collisions, none of the predicted supersymmetry particles have been found. There have been some experimental results in various labs that point to the existence, perhaps, of a previously unknown force in nature, but these don't seem to bear on the problem of the unusually small Higgs mass. It's reached a point where theorists are beginning to wonder if the universe is fundamentally different than we'd supposed. Perhaps it's unnatural in the sense that somehow it's fine-tuned. Or perhaps there's a huge number of universes out there in a vast multiverse and we just happen to be in one where all the possible values for the Higgs mass and other parameters are dialed in just right so as to allow the existence of atoms, stars, planets, and life. There's another possibility, though, that's garnered traction recently. What if our whole outlook on the universe, and one of the most fundamental assumptions of science, is wrong? What if reductionism doesn't actually work, and phenomena on a large scale aren't simply the combined result of lots of things going on lower down, at the particle level. One of the intriguing new ideas in theoretical physics is called UVIR mixing. Now, conventionally, we think of stuff happening over short distances, call this UV or ultraviolet physics, that doesn't directly affect features of long distance or IR infrared physics, and vice versa. But in this new paradigm of UV-IR mixing, UV and IR physics are interrelated, and the fascinating possibility emerges that they effectively conspire and end up producing values of parameters, like the mass of the Higgs, that look, at least from the reductionist perspective, as if they're unnaturally fine-tuned. <laughs>